Do you remember what it was like growing up and what you needed the most? I needed to hear that I belonged and that I was accepted no matter who I loved or how I identified. I needed to hear that all my feelings were okay, that showing my emotions was healthy. I needed to see all kinds of people being unapologetically themselves. I needed to see adults who look like me, thriving and without fear. Children today are living through a crisis, and it's even bigger than COVID. Suicide is the second leading cause of death for people aged 10 to 24. Think about that for a second. It's not cancer or drugs, it's suicide. It's an epidemic, and the statistics only get worse for LGBTQ youth. My name is Bree Donnelly, I use all pronouns, and I'm a clinical social worker and the founder of Joy is Resistance. The name Joy is Resistance means a lot to me. We believe that experiencing joy in the face of people who want you to feel sad or ashamed is the ultimate act of resistance. I've been an educator for almost 17 years. I've seen firsthand that trying to make schools everything for everyone just isn't working. Our students need more. For me, Joy's resistance means self-discovery, a no-judgment zone, and continuously doing the hard work. Joy's resistance creates space for students to show up as their full selves, whatever that means to them, even if that's different every day, to find joy in connecting and healing with each other. Our mobile clinic addresses the barrier of transportation and offers individual and crisis services as well as group support. For us, it's all about quality and helping people wherever they are. We have mentorship, inclusive sex education, and community support to those who need it most. Become an advocate for Joy by donating your time, money, or expertise to Joy is Resistant. You can trust us to love your student, to love your family, and to love your community. And you can trust that we will always find joy at the end of the rainbow.